Those were a little more colorful. Yeah, I vaguely remember being around for a few of those. It happened once. When they thought that Zack and I were dead, but once is enough for me. Mm -hmm. Slater doesn't seem too phased by it. Yeah, well, why am I even talking to you? I don't know. <laughs> a common enemy? We're on the same side for once, if that means anything? I don't know. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be. Don't be. I found out before I made the big mistake of marrying you. Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. I just had this, this flash of a story my Uncle Stuart told me one time, but you wouldn't want to hear it. No, I probably don't, but now you have to tell me. <sighs> okay, well, these, these two kids, and they're on their way to school, and they passed this wishing well, and they threw their penny in there, and they made their wish, silent wish. And about lunchtime, the one kid grumbles that he didn't get his $10 million in his jet plane. The other kid looks down at his PB&J, and he's just happy his mom didn't put a tuna fish sandwich in the lunchbox. I mean, my point is, Greenlee... Don't wish too big. I mean, I'm sure that there's a perfect woman out there somewhere, but I just don't think a perfect man exists. But no flowers? I'm afraid they'd die if they got too close to you. Oh, that hurts. <clears throat> You know, your ex-husband almost killed me the other day. Shot me up full of God knows what and I almost died. Honey, you want to take a picture? I'm just trying to see if there's any hint of the man I thought I knew, but... Nope. It's gone. It was all a show. The way I still feel for it, he wasn't a show. I care for you, babe. I still do. Stop it. Okay? It may have taken me a while, but I'm finally on to you, Richie. I get why you're upset. The last time I talked to you, I was a real jackass, and uh, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I was just angry. So, I need you to know I still feel for you, babe. You're sorry about being a jackass. What about a kidnapper or a murderer if it had turned out the way you wanted it to? Slater's got it all wrong. Oh, I see. So, Zach ran himself down with JR's car and threw himself into that ditch. Is that how it went? It wasn't me. Do you want to know how I know you're lying, Richie? When you open up your mouth and words come out of it. And I believed those words once. And shame on me. But you know what? Not anymore. This isn't over between you and me. <laughs> That's because it never started, Richie. Yes. I liked a nice guy named Wes once. Who I thought I could have fun with and be easy with in a time in my life when I desperately needed something simple and good. Oh, hey. Do you remember the cabin? You, me, and the kids, and that was great. That was fun. I haven't forgotten it. I'm never going to forget about that. Yeah, well, that was all a lie, too. And my mistake was believing that that nice guy existed somewhere inside of you. But you're just, you're just a shell. You're, you're a poor, pathetic, empty shell, Richie, who has messed up every chance you've been given. Does it hurt? A little bit. When I see you smile, it feels a lot better, though. How do you like your new room? Crystal and I both offered to help her unpack, but she wanted to wait for you. Did she? Well, I guess that's the first order of business then, huh? Wait, wait, wait. We have a surprise, don't we? Come on, let's go get her ready. <laughs> let's go this way. Well... Here we all are. All our prayers answered. I don't let you guys uh, enjoy the oh, reunion. No, 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 wait, wait, come, come on. We still need to tell Crystal. Tell Crystal what? I, uh, I'm getting out of the business. I'm giving Aiden my share of the company. I got a more important job. you're even talking to me like Kendall said it's not your fault I could never work with you yeah sure I just need to know something what's that 
Just in case Annie's brother falls through the cracks of the legal system, um, that's going to be unacceptable for me. I wouldn't be very happy with it either. What's your point? My point is, if justice needs to be served, are you going to get in the way? JR? Has Babe come back yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen her. I'm sorry. What? Well, when, when Zach disappeared and when I thought you ran him down. Oh, my God, that feels like it was a hundred years ago. Yeah, well, I, I gave you a really hard time. Yeah, uh, well, I haven't had a drink since. Uh, I guess it's tough love. You seem different. Like you've finally figured some things out. It suits you. Are you on the verge of giving me a compliment? You still almost killed me. So let's not break out with the warm fuzzies just yet. But you may actually be someone worth knowing one of these days. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, don't you want to take a little bit more time to make a decision like this and talk it over with, like, me? <laughs> hey, sweetheart, I would if, if I thought there was something to talk about. There isn't. I mean, it's not really a career decision. It's sort of a life decision. You know, besides, my, my biggest case, finding Kathy's been solved, you know? From now on, I just, there's only one job I want to take care of, and that's raising my family. I don't want him to leave, but he's made up his mind. Excuse me. Greenlee. I thought you should know Richie Novak's under arrest here at the hospital. What for? They're booking him for kidnapping JR. And, uh, it turns out he's also the one that trapped me and Zach in the bomb shelter. Did you hear me? Yes, Greeny, I, I heard you. Again, I just thought you had the right to know. Bye. <sighs> well, that's a hell of a face. But you know, he's, he's been arrested for JR's kidnapping. And he was the one that nearly killed Greeny and Zach. What? I have to go. Don't count me out just yet, babe. They don't have a shred of evidence that I had anything to do with Greenlee or Slater's bad luck that night. In fact, I went out there searching for him and it nearly killed me. And as far as JR's accusations, I stole his bone marrow? Oh, come on. There's DNA proof, Richie. DNA proof can be rigged. And if I'm not mistaken, you and your mother are experts in that. And the only th other thing that the prosecution has is a testimony of a prostitute. I think I have a more honest face. Wow. You lie as easy as you breathe, and guess what? I'm going to be on the witness stand to help prove that. Babe, sweetheart, I'm not going down for this. I have a secret weapon. Oh, really? What is that? Well, honey, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? I almost forgot. This is from Opal. She didn't seem too surprised this morning when I told her everything you'd done. Thank you for the high five. Almost worthy of knowing me, I think, might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't let it get to your head. It's too bad what happened to Greenlee and Aiden. Are we talking about them? No, no. Uh, Greenlee just happened to mention it to me, how they broke up and why. Don't go there, JR. Not in the mood. <clears throat> Look, I have made a lot of ugly mistakes in my life. Especially the one with you. Step nine in my program says I need to make amends with everyone that I hurt. Now it's my turn to apologize to you again. I'm sorry for what I did to our friendship. And I'm sorry for what I did to you. I'm glad that Zach didn't kick you to the curb. He may not be Mr. Warmth in my book, but... He's damn lucky to have you. And I'm glad 